Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't plan on like coming back. It just it happened. And happen. And I feel like the last couple of weeks, and like the last couple of months, I've been thinking like maybe there's a reason for me wanting to actually play. Because I was pretty dead set on just like retiring. Um, but something is just drawing me back in. I just want to. I just want to. It's like, it's like fate was saying like, nah, you're not done writing your story yet. Like you gotta keep going for a sec. Like just a few more years, because like there's something crazy that comes along the way, you know. Um, and that's what kind of motivates me daily, like in hopes of that moment where I'm just like, holy shit, how did we get here? And I'm just like standing on like the world champs of Halo somehow, like just some shit like that. It's just like, I feel like there's still something unwritten, so. complete dominance from Optic Gaming, and they are your HCS NA Open number one champions for Halo Infinite. An absolutely amazing way for Optic to end this tournament, but I do want to give a shout out to C9. What a fight they put up, what a tournament they had, and this is just the beginning for these two teams in Halo Infinite. Rio victory on narrow CTS. His gamertag was a pure gangster, and you pull, you pull pulls up to the event, he's 12, 13, like, <laughs> The like nerdy kid, just like all of us were. But they added a pure gangster, awesome battle rifle with that kid. Oh, too easy. <laughs> pure gangster got up and said, "Too easy, too easy." So there's just some trash talk going on here on the main stage. APG, I've always considered him an exceptional slayer. He's got one of the most amazing shots in the league. Brad's been doing this since 2006, and like, there's some other people that are still kind of hanging in there from may maybe back then, but it's like they're not winning the event. <laughs> and they're not like performing that crazily well still. You guys aren't going to make uh, team changes of this, correct? I'm like, nope. And then I asked them, are you guys? Uh, anyway, we'll see and what's up with you guys, right? So that was uh, March of 2014. In August of 2014, he says, hi, you're a rum brother? And then I say, I'm here. And he's like, what are the odds of the squad we want happening? thing because he, want, he wanted that squad to be formal nade shot scumpy and crim six anyway november 1st just a month later dm the what's up teammate and ever since then it's been a really really good uh, journey between he and i from Terra, he said try this i did and i fell in love in absolute love <laughs> we just think that we're better than each other so it's um well one of us thinks that we're better than each other and the other one's me I guess let's kick it off with Sane. When I first remember seeing Lucid and Trippy, so Lucid back then went by Sane, and first thing I was just like, all right, this dude has the gall to have the same gamer tag as this other top Halo legend, you know, old teammate in front of mine. Man, Sane just went extremely clutch with this railgun. Is he gonna be able to get more kills? He is, so there goes a killing spree. Oh man, nice Spartan charge. I mean, look at Trippy, perfect shots on Tech. Everywhere you go, you're just seeing impressive plays. Brad has never tried any other game. He didn't try to switch to Call of Duty. I don't know what it takes to do what he's done, but I don't think people realize how high his skill has been since late 2006. And, and, and having uh, a player of foremost caliber still be willing to compete in a different sport that just offers up its own little uh, storyline that you want to follow, right? He wins a championship in Halo, goes on to have one of the most successful careers in Call of Duty competitive ever. And then he retires and then he picks up the controller again for Halo. I think it's a, it's a really interesting you know, journey that he's going on and I'm, and I'm here for it, front row and center. Here, all of a sudden, it was already cold yesterday, rainy, and now it's even colder. It's 85 for two weeks straight in Florida. <laughs> and I come to this, and it's gonna be warmer in Seattle. World bound. I go pretty hard from the left. Huh? <laughs> go out. 
go out on a win? <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I help you? Or like, <laughs> the back, like oh. up here? <laughs> she had like a laptop just sitting in the chair, like passed out and thought she was just like a guest or something. I was gonna but, say, I did not know she worked there. And then she told us we had to wait until eight in the morning, maybe. Oh my god. For like the maintenance guy. We got an entirely different room what? to go to. Are you serious? And then the guy didn't even show up at like eight, eight thirty, he showed up at like nine. Oh uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm a little squished. It's alright. Done being randomly screened. <laughs> it checked me when he put it back through. It's like it was just my shoes, an iPad, and a wallet. Why does it gotta go back through the machine? <laughs> Feeling fantastic. Just got done having some Chick fil A. I'm full. Now we're trying to get some pregame for this flight. We gotta, we gotta talk about some strats, how we're gonna sleep through it. I think we can do it, I think we can accomplish it. I, I came here before, and like, one of the, uh... <laughs> I am ready, actually. It's gonna be a good episode. I told, I, I was telling them, I was like, no, no sad questions on this episode. No. You didn't get any sad questions, Jason? You get any sad questions? Uh-uh, On the last, on this next process. No sad questions. It means we have nothing, no bad questions, like what happened in the series. It's all happy. Uncharted was pretty good. <laughs> kind of cringe. It was okay. Yeah. It was okay. It was alright. Wait, is that here? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it is, bro. It's a good place. It's Bob. How are we doing? And it better be like Bob. Somebody told me. I can't do it. I'm a big fan of Hopti Gaming. I was wondering if I could take a picture with you guys. Good luck. Thank you. You got the finals. Thank you. Should I go back up? Uh, yeah. Come on. Dude, that time to kill seems so fast. Like, yeah. insanely fast. Oh, no, it's just fast, but I don't know. It literally seemed like people were just looking at people and they died, like, instantly. Okay. I mean, there is a... Whatever that building is. It's like massive. Four? Yeah, four. Security guy liked your backpack. I know he liked it, he did. He's like, yo, what kind of book bag is that? Man. It feels, it feels like some place feels Michael Myers would be chasing you. <laughs> it's like Michael Myers would just be sitting in a corner waiting for you to come around. Just like, <laughs> who's the weakest link here? Who's, who's getting taken out first? Oh my god, that's tough. <laughs> I don't know. It becomes every man for himself. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Coach Brad would just be wearing his Dior slippers. <laughs> and he can't run. He, he would definitely be least prepared with his yeah. footwear. Yeah. <laughs> Everything should be locked in now at this point. Just gotta fine tune it. Make sure we're all all golden. I think I'm good to go. Yeah, I think I'm pretty set. I'm gonna shoot some bots. The halo. Just take you back with you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<clears throat> Once matches are started, no. please make reach out to John, Richie, the Dean, whoever it may be, somebody will be available to take them. This time, we're gonna close the, or we're gonna open the doors on you, you guys are gonna walk in action. A movie trailer. Do we got Niak for an interview? No way. Mr. Niak? What's that? It's a trailer. Oh. I feel like I'm watching an MCU trailer. <laughs> so you love that last line, Chip. What was the last line? Yeah, and he loved that last line, Chip. That Matt what? does. He loves that. Like, well, where's this the last line? Yeah, first time you get it. Wait, what did he say? Let me hear this. That's not that. We have one more job to do. Yeah, loves it, loves it. It's all final. Yeah, we have one more job to do. It's Matt, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Fucking get the shit. Five, four, oh, there's a the sheriff. The sheriff was like, hey, love us. Why is it like, isn't the sheriff's going to love us? It's because we'd be in the sheriff's. Today is Thursday. We have a, some warm ups today. We're playing E United. And we kind of have a block schedule, so we can only scrim for like two, three hours. So just gonna try to make use of the time and get some, get some fucking, get some work in. Hey, we also got the, the eight team bracket from Amateur. And the top four from those eight teams advance into pools tomorrow. So it should be some interesting matches today as well. It's a watch. A lot of passion in the pits, lots of sweaty pits. Hits of hell. <laughs> People be better, you know, better be putting on deodorant. All of that. It's getting sweaty today. That shit is pretty epic. I can't even lie, dude. I was getting charged up. Literally. I was trying to get no clue. I was trying to get no clue. Skyrim theme song. It's a new chant for the weekend. This is the song of the weekend. It makes you want to just chow every gunfight, run over people, Viking mentality. Yeah, me <laughs> now. It's one of the best parts. <laughs> Can I be the walkout music for us? Yeah, all right. It feels like I'm at an EDM concert. It feels literally like I'm at EDM, like EDC. Seattle. Reliving the games, I don't remember any of these. <laughs> Kirshner's reaction. It's been sick. I need to give that a watch. <laughs> I think the team dinner stuff is just uh, is, is where the true team building happens, but not not internally, right? Not for the competitors, but for the overall culture of uh, of, of optic. To be fair and honest, I'm just gonna try to eat good myself. If all my friends wants to come with me, who am I to stop them? This isn't even our tournament, but we still get to partake. <laughs> We're partaking. Cheers, everyone, to the Halo team. Halo squad. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. God, I just know you're so popular. They're icy. Logan Roy, and I'm Roman. <laughs> Robulus. I'm Robulus. <laughs> the, the wine we had at the place before was also nice. It was called Intrinsic. We had a glass watching the Yankees, and it was nice. Ooh. Some bags, please. 
If I'm being honest. And I think I should. I pick the New York Strip all day, every day. That's true. That's Slasher and Envoy combined. We are drinking, we are having a good time. We're harassing the Halo team for chips. It's absolutely fantastic. I can't even move. First time traveling caviar ever. I didn't know what to expect. It looked really weird, like little blue balls. Like, what the hell? I had no idea what it was. Good luck, Smile. Good luck, Smile. Thank, thank you. Thank you. They're nothing. <laughs> <laughs> They're nothing. They're nothing. We got here Tuesday, which was a day earlier than normal, and kind of gotten settled in, scoping out the, uh, the good food places, the good coffee places. So, I think everybody's ready. Everybody's ready. It's time to get fucking cracked. Absolutely twisted. Chance, this is it. This is the moment. It is day one of the final stop on our roadmap. This is the reason when this game came out that everybody started to put in the work for. These guys on the stage have put in so much time, so much effort, the preparation, it all comes to this weekend, this moment for these guys to write their name in the history books. Uh, yeah, Seattle in the past has been like not vibey at all for me. The, I've only been there twice. Um, one was for the Halo 4 Global Championships, which I like did not place where I wanted to with that. And then the other one was when the dynasty broke up. So both times I've been there were both like bad experiences. So like I was kind of like, I don't know, worried about it. Cause I, I've just never had a good experience in Seattle, but the city's pretty cool. Uh, it rains a lot, but it's, it's a pretty vibey city. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. It's the food's good. Um, people are really nice. I'm watch party in the Halo event. Uh, you know, I got it like that. Shout out to Seth. If it wasn't for this guy, I probably wouldn't have it like that. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the mic situation right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for Seth. That boy is always late. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I'm excited to do this watch party. Go Optic. Yelling my ass off. Oh, so anyway, have fun, buddy. I'll talk to you later. You let GB on the street? Oh, bro, I go for one. BTH win this whole thing or what? BTH? Yeah, BTH wins this time. Were you on that team? I don't know, dude. Be nice to you, Hill. Yo, what's up, we baby? What's up, Sean? We split the check. Ooh. Hey, I'm taking over Shotzi's stream. He said the sub count's not looking what it used to be, so I need to beg. Guys, can we get a fucking sub train started in here? I mean, Christ. That is sniped down, yeah. That is, that is sniped that's, down. That's Rona. Emotional, man. I looked at, uh, you know, I walked in, went up the elevator. Yeah, they're all rooted for me. But um, yeah, I saw my banner. It said, uh, you know, we won 2018 Worlds. I was like, damn. My my younger self would be proud of me. But uh, yeah, right now I gotta focus on this watch party. You know, I just actually wait. Okay, <laughs> don't put that in there. Where's is Matt Craig here? Guys, can we get a roll call here? I want to see. Is Matt Craig here? This is right Jesus. <laughs> and then how do I do this shit? <laughs> None of this was set up. The COD comes out in about like four days right after this event, so I gotta lock in for that. Right now I'm having fun doing this watch party, so I'm gonna lock it in for COD, but right now I'm gonna watch the boys compete. Bro, so uh, I could not log in <clears throat> to my email. I had really bad service in Seattle, like terrible, terrible service. So it, like I was trying to log in, it would not send me the code. So we had that issue like even in practice from the day we got there. So I knew it was gonna happen probably when the tournament started. I think I saw Matt with it in Call of Duty, so I just copied it. It's the APG. I think you earned that right after last event, right? The one and only. Yeah, that would be ideal because I think Tommy wants to wear it. They thankfully hooked me up. They had to give me the black skin, though. I had to use the black skin. Process? Well, let me tell you something about process. Vote for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, Yo, 
was good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we got our next match in like an hour and a half, so it's time to walk. This is going to be very, very difficult, I think, for Native Red because Optic are previous Orlando champions, and boy, oh boy, do they look good. And Optic on the main stage against Native Red. Let's do this. Let's see who comes out on top in this pool play matchup between two titans in pool A. Back on May. Back on May. That's where we like to be. Oh, this shit, boys. One game at a time. Optic are controlling the sandbox and their balanced attack is too much for native red. Optic pick up map one. Let's go with a 3 1 lead. Yeah. Just get to play Slayer. And look at that, native red have taken the lead. Optic are losing numbers and losing momentum. It's a tied game. It's a tied game. So suck at the second block. Native red have stolen it back. Oh. Oh. Nice try, nice try. I just got the double too. That was, a good, that was like the right mindset though. Genuinely believe that Native Red is the type of team that can cause an upset here in Seattle. Alright, let's go boys. Get up. Good shit. Good boys. Get right back into it. Yep. Yeah, fuck that last map, bro. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, it's a 10 we give you this. Oh, it's a 10 we give you this. We can win here, we can win here. Shot, guys. Shot, guys. Keep it up. Good shot, boys. We get a lot of time here. Green, green, green. Good shot, guys. Sure. We got Aquarius CTM, the boys. Get the shit. Good shit, man. Good shit. Yeah. I think we all just are very well rounded. I think that's the best part of our team. If one person's not doing their best, then another person steps up. It smells like high school square pizza. Remember the high school square pizza? A little mayo on it, dip it into the ketchup, like fancy sauce. This is how you get sick. See this thing? Hmm? Hey, where did that come from? It came from 2017, boy. Lucid. You are our regular season MVP, as voted by your pro player peers. And I've got to say, crowd, if you're not cheering right now for this man, I don't know what you're doing with your hands. Yeah, I mean, I've been putting my best foot forward as best I as best I can from the very start. So, you know, thank you very much to everybody, the players alike, for voting me MVP. I really appreciate it. Being declared as the best player, not only on your team, but in the entire league. And then also to do that with such a level head, and such a bright future ahead of himself to say like, hey, like I thank my team for this. We all work together for this. There's no doubt in my mind that Tommy deserves that. I've been through thick and thin with Tommy. I've been literally through it with him through it all. And for him to like, you know, put his head down and just grind and for me to see that like on the, on like behind the scenes, you know, um, I know how much time he was putting in. We all know how much time he was putting in. And and I'm so glad he did like, there's no, no no more person like more deserving. So I'm very happy for the man. Winning that award, I mean, it just means a lot because it comes from the players, especially. It means a lot. He's He's been supporting me through and through. All my family has, my girlfriend as well, have been supporting me wholeheartedly. It's a culmination of uh, almost seven years. Coming up, seven years of work. Yeah, just everybody online, here in person, there is uh, there's no better words I can really say. It's just I'm very appreciative. Thank you very much. Oh, I think there's a lot to learn. There's a lot more to keep getting better at, and uh, it's just not over. So, got to come back for season two even better. That's the goal. 
Let's did it. <laughs> no, I was kind of I was like right there. Like, these are no. makers. You can't. You can't. Yeah, I can't. Uh, it's this right here. Oh, okay. They have, they have like time Good shit today. It wasn't fun to watch you guys. <laughs> Just pissing. Hold on. Well, no, here, Good shit today. Well, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Look how fun this guy is. If you scan this IRL strafing. What, what, what? Uh, day one was good. We went 9 1 on map count, not too bad. Only dropped a Slayer to Native Red. Um, yeah, collectively we played really well as a team. Long day, but successful. Yeah, it was, it was good. Playing on main stage again felt great. Land always feels good. Shots connect, beat downs. You'd always get a beat down, like trade. But it feels amazing. Yeah. Even when you don't think you're gonna get a beat down, you, you're gonna get a beat down. And for those of you who don't know what a beat down is, it's just like a beat down to make the person one shot. So that's pretty much all it is. And trying to get as much damage done on the map. <laughs> what? Some people actually don't know what that is. <laughs> Seattle, it's great, but like that is just coming from California, like that is just Depressionville over there. Like clouds every day. I, I think every day we were there is cloudy. So last time we were in in Seattle, last time we were there is when the dynasty broke up in 2018. So it had been four years since we visited the Seattle chapter of the Green Wall. So it had been a long time since we had, had a chance to say hello. The Uncle Booth was an experience. We had a fan meet up there. We got interviewed on camera there. The, just the overall weekend was really, really sweet. For all of us to truly be there as, as Optic uh, was, was a really, really good feeling because it, it felt like we were paying respect and, and giving back by showing up. G1, they, their objective and their focus in this series needs to be to come out strong, right? They need to come out of the gate swinging to Clutch's point earlier. They have to dictate the pace of this series if they want a puncher's chance against, in my opinion, the favorites this weekend on Optic Gaming, the green walls. But playing against G1 and their team, we scrimmed a lot. Um, I think we have similar tendencies, so I think that we know how to at least stop what they're trying to do. You know, they're, they're very, very set up based, so we know how they play. And that was a really, really good team for us to play because that kind of gets us in our disciplined moods. Go. Love that shit. Viking chant. No. Uh, yeah. oh. 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 Trippy and APG. Last two up and they continue to put up kills. Nice fucking, fucking game, fucking guys. Good battle. Fucking good battle. Fucking oh shit. Fucking oh, fucking no, baby. Go. Holy shit. So well played there. And I gotta say, it's just how maneuvering with the ball was the difference maker in that game. What was tight around 20 points is a blowout now. Optic looking for the final five kills. Nice fucking game. Fucking Let's good. go, baby. Pick up three kills. Now it's Lucid with the first two in this one. Formal over the top for a third shot. He comes out and the Bulldog will find another double. I think we kind of broke them, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't think they really recovered after we 3 would them, uh, like, so, so bad. But we were just really locked in for that series, and we just kind of thrashed them. But they were like, a, they're usually a really good team, like um, with fundamentals and stuff. So we had to play, you know, fundamentally correct and kind of get a, like a good outline for how we were going to play the rest of the tournament. So it was a good first round matchup for sure. As we know, your next matchup is a big one. You're going up yes. against Sentinels. How you feeling on that one? You excited? Honestly, um, yeah. With how things happened the last time we played them, I'm honestly excited for a rematch, and especially at Worlds. So it's going to be a great one. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. It's always been Optic versus Sentinels from the drama, the personal stuff happening, the scrims, all sorts of things have been going on and it always seems to have been settled in a series. Our first ever time we played them was at Raleigh when we 3-0'd them. It's gonna be Optic Gaming with a three. And then we lose them game five with Matt. And then Kansas City, uh, we lost to them. And then, um, I don't think we played them in Orlando. You know, they were saying like, oh, you guys dodged a bullet. You guys didn't play Sen. Like, 
fluke win at Orlando, fluke this, fluke that. We went into that match knowing, you know, we had a lot to prove, especially after what happened last time. Just, Just like, like screams, let's go. Let's get it, baby, let's go. Remember guys, come through is the name of the game, okay? Both smack each other in the jaw, we'll see each other again in a moment! Lose One minute and 10 seconds on the clock. Time is against Optic now. They've had the titles and they've won the tournaments for a reason, and that's why it's always best to just kind of respect it. And they secure the third hill, they take the lead! Let's get it. Yes, for sure. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Shit. Shit, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Set out and truly believes he's gonna be Ooh. a world champion! Ooh. Give him the triple! Sent back to whence he came and taken care of! And yeah, every time we play Sen, it's a battle, literally. You can't let off the gas against Sen. It didn't feel like, you know, luck just happened at all. It felt like we earned every single win, uh, just based off teamwork and just play calls and just disciplined Halo. At that point, we were we were top three after we beat Sentinel, so it was like, I don't know, we only had to win two more series to win the whole thing, and like that was a huge, like I guess, hurdle for us to just to like beat them on land, and we had not done it yet, so it was, um, it was nice. You know, a very necessary series for us to win, and to win it in the fashion we did was definitely uh, a confidence boost going into the uh, winner's finals. I saw that feedback in recharge. <laughs> Being able to keep your team calm in those last second situations, making the right play when it's frantic and you hear the crowd making noise, like that's really what it takes to just be on top of your game and to win a tournament. So um, they're one of the teams that have mastered that. So being able to beat them, um, I'd say more so in a consistent manner the last few months, it, it's really a good sign for us. For the rest of this tournament, I want you to remember, none of these people have shit on us at all. Like we are astronomically better than everybody. That is a good moment, it's a good push-off point, but it's not over. It was a big win, boys, especially in that fashion. The games were pretty close. They're definitely, I mean, I, to be honest, I don't feel like we were playing our best even. You guys still, we were, we were a little frantic. I was probably adding to that. <clears throat> but. Yeah, they've been top, their best placing is always top six, usually. That's like the highest they've gotten. So if they, win, if they win this, then that's like their highest best placing ever. That's the only goal. Who's got this? I, I think Native might pull it out. They were just down eight, and now they're up one. It's insane. K KCP, I feel like it's destined this event. They beat C9. I, I think they got it. They were showing that they are not necessarily the same exact team that they had been in the previous lands. And to hear that they had like reverse swept C9 in bracket was, that was just the start of it. Such bad Wi-Fi, I'm getting so mad. I can't even see the game. 360? What are we back in 2007? They won. Oh my god. Let's go. Wow. Then they beat FaZe in the winner's semis, which was also really impressive. Because that team is just like, like in the past, when you see that team, it always looks like they're like on the cusp of being great, but they, they just can't seem to like pull it together at the tournaments and they always finish, you know, top eight, top six. But this was like the event that they came out and just like showed out and proved everyone wrong. So uh, at the same time, you gotta like go into that series, you know, respecting the hell out of like someone who's beating those teams. So they were um, they weren't gonna be messing around. <laughs> yeah. Totally learning process. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise! It's Championship Sunday. We're down to our final eight.
Let's go, Mark. Let's have some fun, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. What a start this has been for Rock to get They are really, it's a triple for losing. Let's go, baby. Good game. Good shit. Good start, Golden. Ice coming for it. Come on, Mark. 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 We um, just played really well. We, we put them in a blender the first game and, and then like had a really tight game too with them, like a 49-49. Uh, we were actually down like 49-46 and then somehow won that game. That was like the best strongholds we, game we've played probably over the weekend so far against a top team. To do that on a Sunday, to kickstart our tournament for Sunday on Championship Sunday was like very, very good for us. Dude, the guy that we killed wasn't even the guy that Joey was calling out. There's another guy one shot. Oh really? Like sitting in that doorway. He's full shields. Oh I didn't see that. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see Matt, that. Matt and I are top mid, he grabs camo and they just throw I throw a nade and he gets new. Or 2-0 oh in the game three. Jesus, they're up 2-0 oh in like less than three minutes. Almost a double cap. I look like an idiot probably trying to renade the Rockets. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know exactly where to put them. But. Yeah, I almost said uh, aim a little short of them because you got to hit like just in front of the block so that it bounces just on the other side. And I was like, yeah, you should punch up. I choked it there. Like, I was trying to oh, you, all, yeah, you almost had a fucking I was trying to lie wide. So close. Dude. So close. It's like, oh, it would have been so fucking nasty. I like Tommy, he's like, just try it, just try it. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I've literally and never... Now, I mean, even now, you know, like, for next time, a little better of where to throw him. I've never done that before. Yeah. Ever. Because he's usually the one... I've watched, yeah, he's showed me in screen share multiple nights. That's the only reason I know. I don't ever do it. I don't even know what happened. It just happened so fast. It just died both instantly at the same time. As soon as they were trying to get in it, I had to get in it for, like, that one second. Yeah. Just to break the time. Oh, 100%. Yeah, you had to get in there. If that guy didn't die, they might have they won. Or they could have at least tied it, rather. <laughs> Clutch enough, yeah. So, uh, during the uh, Cloud9 Native Red match, we were backstage kind of warming up in the uh, the pro player warm-up area. And there wasn't a monitor that was on our side that we could use because all four players were using uh, the monitors on our side. So I ended up setting a monitor on top of a PC on the opposite side and facing it towards us. We just had some monitor set up, just watching the games, trying to keep track of just some, you know, just keep track of the teams, keep track of the habits, see how these people are playing and, you know, just shoot, shooting them some bots for a bit. It honestly depends who, I don't really care who we play, um, but it honestly depends who takes game one. If Native Red can take game one after getting, or after just losing 3-0 like that, that'll give them some confidence and uh, that'll give them a good series. But if C9 wins this game one, then that's kind of, it's looking like C9 might win the series. Next series, let's run away with our leads. Well, because like we we literally locked in so fucking hard that first game that I think we like got just a little loose. And um, so that's the only thing is because like dude, we were playing perfectly fine. It was just like again the looseness of like we have like a five kill lead, a six kill lead, and then, like, that becomes like a two or three kill lead, and then we're on like a cycle. So same thing. Was yeah, Cloud Nine started like shitting towards the end of the tournament. They um they started their day with like three owing Sen, and then I think they beat. Phase, and then they beat Native Red, and then they were like back to us. So we were backstage watching, and like, I mean, like I've I've been in situations like that before because I've gone to the, like to the finals with like a winners bracket spot. So when you go through winners, you always watch the losers finals, and you get to see who you're gonna play. And they look like they were red hot, so we knew we were gonna have the work cut out for us. It's Cloud Nine. They've been in every single finals this whole year, and they've all have just insane players on the team. And we knew it was going to be hard. They're always going to be a tough team to play. So, yeah, we just needed to take it one map at a time. And 
we were playing a team we had already beat. We've beaten them many times. We know how they play. So I knew that if we just came out hot like we did in Orlando on that Sunday, then we'd be perfectly fine. Yo, Matt. Hey, Tommy. Go fast. I'm not trying to be, you know, Superman or anything, but just remember, play our game, have fun, and just smack these kids, bro. Just do our thing. Finish this shit strong. Finish this season strong, bro. There's a reason why we're here. Four maps, bro. That's it. Four maps. Let's get this. Let's fucking go. Up. We showed some pretty good grit. Optic Gaming right now, you know how bad they can taste it. They're, they're right at the fingertips of a world championship. What are we playing for? One million dollars. Four hundred thousand dollars goes to first place. Second box home with two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. So essentially, that uh, grand final matchup is a pretty important game, not only for the trophy, but also for some more money in your pocket. And then game two, again, it was it was a back and forth game. It was actually very close, but we lost it. So it was like not so much a heartbreaker, but I think we just started to lose that edge just a bit. I don't know, maybe we didn't think we needed to play as hard to just kind of win, because it, it almost felt like it was so close. One team fight away for C9 to send us to a bracket reset. C9 reset. Right, let's go back. Let's go talk. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk. Great. Let's talk. Let me just say something. Right, right now, especially you, you're trying to make a lot of soul plays, like bottom center and flaking out. We just get, we we gotta stop. We, unless you have a teammate, we gotta make sure that we're we're running together. I just, we just gotta slow down just a little bit. I think we're we're getting a little frazzled, and and I think just trying to make too much happen by ourselves. Kind of Matt was the guy to initiate uh, us going backstage and just you know taking a breath. It was like just a few extra minutes of just like actually listening and digesting what we were saying to each other. We were saying the right things. It's just a matter of making it actionable and making it a reality. That's all it really was. We just got to make sure that everything that looks free is not free at all right now. Yeah. Nothing is free. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. When I'm talking about that, I'm also listening to everyone's responses because if you're talking a lot, it's one thing, but like actually paying attention to the responses is like a whole another game because like you have to hear how your teammates are reacting to what you're saying. You can just be like bullshitting and just like just going on and on and on. It's not going to do anything. If you're hearing a certain way that someone's responding, like, and you have to show them like personal attention and be like, yeah, like, talk to me, you're good. Like, that shit makes a difference in like kind of like honing someone back in and kind of bringing them back to you and locking them back in. It's like really important. So we were doing a lot of that stuff backstage. We were granted this because of the play that we've done all tournament. We just need to focus up, just start re start really focusing. Game one, I believe, is a recharge ball, maybe. Recharge ball, Catalyst Slayer, Stronghold's Live Fire, Skate Veil Streets, Oddball Recharge. That'll give us a little bit of time to get, get into setups. We just got to make sure that we're making, right now we're making every first move. We're not letting them make a single first move. We are, you guys are, yeah. You, yeah. This is a, this is, this is a fresh reset. We start from scratch. So we were all watching on the on the streaming setups where, where Seth and, and Ant were sitting, and we were all watching, and as, as Cloud9 beat us on the first one, I said, everybody switch up, everybody move around, switch seats, let's let's reconfigure the way that we're all sitting. 
uh, I then got up from my seat and went and watched separately from everybody else in a, in a, in a different uh, on a different TV. I remember Matt saying, you know, like, get out of your head a little bit, guys. Like, don't worry about it. Like, kind of just get your mind out of like the fact that we're worlds. Like, he was just like, yo, we're just scrimming. Like, don't worry. And yeah, just kind of just talk about our mistakes. That's pretty much it. That's all we could basically do before heading into the second series. The, 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 the comms have to step up from everyone right now. The moment the game starts, we, we say what we're doing, where we're going, all the basic shit that you guys have been doing all weekend long for the last six months. It's all small time. Man. We just pick it back we have up. To make our pushes together. Well, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. that's why it's not happening though, because the cons are just really sloppy right now, yeah. and, and people are like, we're not listening. Yeah, we're just gonna have a second. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, it's it's all it is. Fast. It's it's we're, we are right there. We're competing in these games. Like, we just flip that switch, right? Right back to where we were. It's already been a fresh reset. Here. It's a fresh series, fresh teams, fresh series. Bro. We're chilling. We play our game. We win. Simple yeah. as that. Don't make it anything it's not, because it's not any, it's, we're, we're just have to play it like how we always play. Right, we spawn in C-Plat, we need to play call of who's going have a this, that, and the third. We need to know where everybody's going so we can make plays off that. Yeah. We can't just like have somebody jump up and then we're down. have a conversation, we don't need to flood comms at all. all, right. all right. We just, let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's a let's fucking fresh series right now. Let's go. Let's go. I think we were just like really just caught up in like wanting to get it done and win, you know what I'm saying? Like especially after the first game, but we just had to like calm down and remember, you know, this isn't going to be as easy as we thought. So we just have to keep playing hard and play like our hearts out, play the hardest we ever played. Absolutely, I think they need that mental reset. We haven't seen Optic on the receiving end of a loss like that in quite some time now, especially in that fashion. That's when you're looking to your leaders, right? That's like when you're looking to a man like Paul, someone who's been here before. He's been in those big series. He knows what it takes to mentally reset, to bounce back, to reach confidence back through some teammates. And the question is, what kind of wake-up call was that for Optic Gaming? Are they ready here in this second best of seven after losing four games straight? Can they bounce back and bring it to Cloud9? Here we are, your second best of seven at the Halo World Championship. Oh, all the way back to Let's go. Up. We win the shit here. Come on. Let's we win the shit. Bring it. The energy. Yeah, yeah, want the shit. I want the shit. I want the shit. This series too. No, Let's shit was well. going to be fucking easy, bro. We're going to earn the shit. Come on. Sir. Obviously, after they strung off four in a row against us, game one was, was pivotal. It was super uh, important for us to, to at least come out fighting and make sure that that game was close. Yeah, probably one of the most important games of the tournament was the Recharge Oddball game one of the second best of seven. To get for Optic, Cloud9 is continuing to steamroll. They're up 59 to 15. Okay, nice no, time. Guys, good job. Good this. job. Good job. Want to come back from Optic Gaming, as we said, down by 60. Essentially a 60 point straight run. Here's a couple of shots here. Optic will go up by one in this series. Only five seconds or so left for Optic to close out this final round. One shot from Lucid, and it will be the game. Nice shot, let's go. Let's go, boy. Fuck, I'm talking about. Let's fucking go. No. Good fucking shit. Good it's gonna sound stupid when I say it, so you're probably not even gonna want to use it. But I think we just all believe, we all just knew that that this was our moment. You feel me? Like there's nothing that these people can take from us. Like they're just like this is ours. So I think that we just really just calmed down and we just realized who we were. Once we sat down, like it felt like halfway through the first round of the on ball, we started playing normal. So like at that point, I knew that the switch had been flipped again. And we started playing just how we normally do, and I knew that they were fucked. A 10 kill advantage as Formal will make it more. He finds a trip ski! Penguins in front of him! C9, 78 to 17. Looks it's starting to heat up though. It's gonna be a C. We'll get converted the last second. Now Optic will continue scoring. Let's go. One more, boys. Fucking go. That's it. Good turn. Because this could be the final game of the Halo World Championships. Because I could even just feel it in myself that I was playing better, I mean, let alone like as a team we were playing insanely well. 
when I had rockets and I ended up getting the triple. In my mind, I was like, yeah, this isn't that. Everyone just keep doing that. You guys are staying alive really fucking well right now. We have to keep doing that. Two guys, two guys, two guys, two guys, two guys. That was four of a kill. Nice. Okay. Can we mark it? I'm sorry. 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 I'm
please raise your glass. Optic forever. Cheers, sir. Cheers. When I think back on like how these past couple years have gone, it hasn't really been like a light at the end of the tunnel. I don't know. These past couple years just felt like a waste. Um, but this was like the first year, like ever, where every day we got on, it was like hard practice. We all understood like as long as we just like do our thing, we'll we'll probably come out with the dub because we were so good online. Um, we just had to translate it to land. So it was cool to prove everybody wrong. Um, it, was, it was a special win. Real special win. Are you the controller good? Who cares? Huh? Who cares? I'll finish so it doesn't matter. Breakfast. Lunch. Dinner! No!